Welcome to Innovation Dialogue. I'm Diana Day, and today we're with Jim Walker, and he's the first recipient of Tommy Sui Community Bridge Award. So today we're going to talk about Community Bridge and share the story of uh, Jim. Thank you for coming, Jim. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Yes, Jim, I know you for at least seven or eight years. I never knew that, that you are an immig immigrant uh, to this country. It seems like you've been here for 100 years, your family, right? Right. Actually, my father was born in Scotland, mm -hmm. and my mother was born in Norway, and they immigrated here with their parents when they were younger. Mm -hmm. And uh, as adults, they met in Oakland and uh, got married, and I was born in Oakland, raised in San Carlos, mm -hmm. and for the last 50 years, I've lived in Cupertino. Mm -hmm. Last 50 years, you lived in Cupertino, and you recently you just awarded as the Tommy Sui Community Bridge Award. So talking about Tommy Sui, and we both know his story, um, that's a sad story, but turned out it's a, you know, an inspiration and for many people. So as a recipient, and they select you for a reason, uh, since you've been working in Cupertino for the last 50 years, and you told me you've been, um, oh, tell me, uh, what you have been doing in Cupertino? <laughs> Well, I've done a lot of things. Yes. Uh, I'm retired now, but uh, when I first moved here, I was a contractor, worked for a general contractor and mm -hmm. builder, and we did a lot of commercial and industrial work, mm -hmm. and uh, including the first freestanding building that Apple Computer, mm. um, at that time it was Apple Computer, uh, the first building they leased, um, and I was lucky enough to sign a lease with Steve Jobs. That's uh, 40 years ago. That was, yeah, 40 years ago, 1977. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I said you are a builder. Actually, you are a community builder. <laughs> well, I think uh, mm -hmm. because uh, my wife and I had had three boys, mm -hmm. and we raised them in Cupertino mainly, and so they attended the Cupertino School District, and, uh, and uh, so Kennedy and Monta Vista High School and... All three of my sons went to De Anza College for a year or two before they went off to the university. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but yeah, you, I've done you, a lot of things. You're involved in many of the, the community jobs. Uh, just give us, give us some example. Well, you know, like many parents, uh, and I think like most parents, mm -hmm. uh, we got involved in school affairs mm -hmm. because we wanted to support our children. So uh, while we didn't... Uh, get involved so much in classroom work, but after school in uh, Indian Guides with the YMCA, my boys were all in that. Uh, then uh, when Little League came during baseball season, uh, we got involved in Little League and I served as a manager and league official and president of Little League, Cupertino National Little League. But then in, in California, in this area, we also changed sports. So in the fall, it became soccer season. And so my boys played soccer and we got involved and uh, we coached and refereed and, mm -hmm. and uh, became a commissioner of soccer. And so we did a lot of volunteer work, but most of that was involved uh, with our children mm -hmm. because we wanted to support our kids mm -hmm. in the community. Mm -hmm. That's uh, involved with your children, but you joined the Rotary Club uh, about 40 years ago. Right. Yes. So, uh, well, when you actually uh, witnessed the change of uh, Cupertino, and Cupertino is a very safe and very nice community, uh, how was that like, like 50 years ago? It was safe. It was a uh -huh. good community 50 uh -huh. years ago. It didn't look like or, mm -hmm. or sound like Cupertino mm -hmm. uh, is today, but... Um, I mentioned that my parents were immigrants here mm -hmm. from outside the United States, and, and, uh, but I was raised in, in a family where I never thought of my parents as being immigrants. Mm -hmm. I thought we were all Americans. How's that? And Why I, is that? Well, because uh, I was raised, I was, mm -hmm. I was an American. I wasn't mm -hmm. a Scotch-American or Norwegian-American, mm -hmm. I was an American. And so I think you view others and you view your community as you were raised. That's the way I was raised. Mm -hmm. So we always figured uh, whoever the people we were working with, whoever they were, mm -hmm. we were all together, we we're just Americans. And mm -hmm. so 
whether we had Scotch or Irish or Germans or Swiss, um, it was fine. Everybody was the same. However, as Cupertino started to change, we could see that coming. And then in 1978, I joined Rotary as a service organization. Mm -hmm. And their motto is service above self. And uh, we knew that our Rotary Club should reflect the community. That is, we didn't want to be a club of, as we said, old white guys. We wanted to look like the rest of our community. Otherwise, we get old and yes. we'll go away, we'll blow away. So the diversity mm -hmm. that I think uh, Cupertino Rotary has a good example of, mm -hmm. um, that came kind of naturally because the leadership in the club mm -hmm. said, we want to look like our community. And as you said, Diana, we're a safe and comfortable, mm -hmm. uh, well-behaved community. Mm -hmm. We have good government, mm -hmm. good schools, excellent schools. And uh, so I think the social fabric of our community is uh, very, very important. And we've been able to keep that very safe and comfortable, I think, mm -hmm. for most people. Mm -hmm. Uh, talking about the community builder, because you were a builder, you were a contractor, but you got so many uh, contribute your time and energy involved in so many community volunteer jobs. And uh, where's that come from? From your family or from? No, uh, I think uh, maybe short attention span. Mm -hmm. uh, you were the president of Rotary Club, and you also elected as the uh, citizen, citizen of the year of Cupertino. Many years ago. And also you were involved in historic so society and so many other you know, communities. Well, again, uh, my kids were involved in the YMCA. Mm -hmm. I got involved, and soon I was on the YMCA board, and I mm -hmm. stayed on that board for over 30 years of the Northwest YMCA. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that's so important, involved in community? Well... I think uh, I'm enough of a, of a, maybe a conservative. I think that we all have to do something in our community. We can't expect the government to do it for us. Mm -hmm. And so after school sports, whether it be soccer or Little League or whatever we are involved in, we thought the community should do that. We didn't have to rely on the city or the schools. We thought, hey, we can get together and do those things. But uh, after being in Cupertino for many years, we joined the board of the Historical Society, which I think is very important. So, but at the same time, I said my boys went to De Anza College, and uh, thanks to Martha Cantor, who was the president at the time, she invited us to join the, uh, the De Anza Commission, and I've been able to hang on in there for many years. Mm -hmm. So uh, you are awarded as the first recipient of Tommy Shui Community uh, Bridge Award. Uh, you know how long you've been knowing Tommy? Well, I knew Tommy, I think, uh, probably, gosh, I don't know, 20 or 25 years ago, maybe more, when Tommy mm -hmm. was on the Cupertino mm -hmm. Union School District uh, Board of mm -hmm. Trustees. Mm -hmm. um, later, Tommy joined Rotary, mm -hmm. and uh, so I worked together with Tommy, and uh, some years ago, we formed a, a student uh, Rotaract club at De Anza College. Tommy and I worked on that. It's no longer functioning, but it was uh, something that we worked hard on and mm -hmm. did together. Mm -hmm. And this, this, this award is from CEEF and Cupertino Rotary Club, and uh, a Papa and City of Cupertino. So what is CEEF? CEEF is the Cupertino Educational Endowment Foundation, mm -hmm. and my wife had been on that board for many years. Mm -hmm. uh, we were involved as a couple, mm -hmm. and uh, still my wife and I are very much involved in the community. Mm -hmm. um, CEEF is very important to us. It's, mm -hmm. the, uh, it's a foundation that supports our schools. Mm -hmm. You can see the four organizations uh, present this award. This, this is also a bridge. As four organizations work, work together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, matter of fact, that's probably a very good point that mm -hmm. you just made. That I think in some cities you wouldn't find awards that are mm -hmm. combined from a group of different governmental and civic and uh, 
volunteer organizations. Yes. And uh, so the fact that they work together and do an award like this uh, mm -hmm. made it even more meaningful. Mm -hmm. So what is the most, uh, uh, I would say, talking about Tommy and talking about this award, what, what is the most inspiring part of this? Well, I knew Tommy, and although he had an unfortunate um, mm -hmm. ending uh, of his life last year, he was a, a wonderful guy and a good friend and always optimistic, energetic, mm -hmm. um, willing to take on a lot of things. And, and uh, uh, I helped uh, in a couple of his election campaigns. Mm -hmm. um, he was a good man. Mm -hmm. uh, there were so many people in the community um, like you been working so hard and make Cupertino and many other places a very nice place. Uh, to live, especially nowadays when we got the you know special situation for our government, and what I think is especially meaningful at this moment. Well, I like to think that the uh, mm -hmm. Cupertino government, uh, whether it be uh, the municipal government or even our county government, I like to think we we're getting along mm -hmm. and uh, we seem to cooperate mm -hmm. and uh, I've always I haven't held an elected office, haven't run for any nor was I ever elected uh, to any elected uh, office of government, mm -hmm. I think uh, it's important that we all work together to mm -hmm. find good solutions for our city. And we have so far. I've mm -hmm. been really happy with the way Cupertino is uh, operating. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that uh, even though your parents are the immigrants, but you never feel that you are you know, a foreigner or a stranger. And, uh, you know, when we are here, and we, many times people will ask us, uh, where are you from? I said, oh, I'm from uh, Santa Clara. They said, where are you originally from? Have you been, ever been asked this question? No, I think, you know, it's a little bit different being, mm -hmm. uh, being a white guy. I think, uh, you know, I, as I said, people think that my family came over on the Mayflower or mm -hmm. something and have been here hundreds of years, and that's not the case. But as I said, I was raised in a very um, accepting and loving environment as a child. And mm -hmm. so we never considered mom and dad as being immigrants. We thought mom and dad were Americans. Mm -hmm. And uh, thus we were Americans and our friends were Americans. Mm -hmm. So we like to think when we say, where are you from? It means I was born in Oakland or, mm -hmm. or grew up in San Carlos. It doesn't mean, oh, my parents lived in Norway or or in Scotland, that's not the issue. Mm, you know, once I heard uh, Ori Mahoney said one thing, and he said, I really like diversity because in this culture and in this country, and bring out the best of different culture. It's very important to appreciate the culture, right? Oh, yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> and I've been very fortunate through Rotary and also in my own private travel. I've been to China and India and South America and uh, Africa, and, mm -hmm. and so I've been all over doing projects, either rotary projects or medical projects, and uh, it's always nice to see how other people live and how other communities get along, and then come back and compare it with our mixture of people in, uh, in our community, and I think uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Mm -hmm. So uh, building the uh, bridge for our community I think that's also what we are doing at our Rotary Club. You've been a member for uh, 40 years. Right. What do you like most of our, our, our club? Oh, the people. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the nice thing uh, about Rotary, and I'm sure other service organizations are equally as, as good, uh, is that you get a, a different change of pace. You're not just talking about people in your business. You're talking about people or two people mm -hmm. that are in other walks of life. And so you get a very good broad look at how the community is operating. So we're not just talking business, we're not just talking mm -hmm. volunteer efforts or service mm -hmm. projects, we're talking everything. We're talking kids and education mm -hmm. and philanthropy and support mm -hmm. and international projects. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we have a group from Cupertino going to Romania in mm -hmm. two weeks. And you mentioned Orrin Mahoney, who is currently the district governor and a member of Cupertino Rotary is leaving in a few weeks uh, for Kenya to work on an archaeological uh, project. So mm -hmm. we're diverse, diverse in interest, mm -hmm. diverse in backgrounds, mm -hmm. and ethnicity, mm -hmm. and uh, 
religions because we, uh, I'm saying that even though we don't question that or even probably even know what uh, religion or political party people belong to. Uh, being a uh, Cupertino Rotary Club member, I f feel that I'm so lucky and fortunate. I learned a lot and really inspired by so many of you. Um, as a recipient for this award, what do you want the next generation, the young people, to learn from this? Well, I think uh, to be aware, mm -hmm. to look around, mm -hmm. uh, see things that uh, maybe they don't agree with and would like to change, hopefully for the better. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're all in this together, mm -hmm. and so uh, we can't rely on paid people or uh, our professional staff mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. government and mm -hmm. other people to uh, take care of our needs and wants and changes. We can do those things ourselves, and we can do it in a peaceful and cooperative way, I would hope. Um, I never had an unkind word with Tommy. He was always a happy guy and a, a pleasure to work with. And uh, I think we should all learn something from Tommy Shui. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And uh, we can work together and continue this uh, building the bridge. Oh, thank you very much for inviting me.